Hello and welcome to Living Supernaturally. Thank you for this opportunity to come together once again to meditate on God's word and pray together. This week we've been talking about the assurance that you and I have as children of God. Today we'll talk about being sealed by the Holy Spirit. 2 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 21 and 22. He anointed us set a seal of ownership on us and put his spirit in our hearts as a deposit guaranteeing what is to come. Like a signature today, a document or any other object with a seal conveyed authenticity, authority and ownership. Ancient seals were usually carved in stone and etched in metal and the person using the seal pressed it on soft clay and, that, and the wax would leave a symbol representing the seal's own ownership. In our verses today, the Apostle Paul uses this image of the seal to describe the Holy Spirit as a guarantee that we belong to Him. You and I are sealed by the Holy Spirit. As a seal, the Holy Spirit assures us that we belong to God and that nothing can separate us from His love. The Holy Spirit's presence in our lives serves as God's mark on us, showing us that we, will, we belong to God and we will flourish and grow in our walk with Jesus. When a person becomes a believer, the Holy Spirit takes up residence in his life. Life in Jesus Christ is different because the Spirit of God is now within us. Why is He there? He's there to empower us, to equip us, to fill us with His presence, to manifest the gifts of the Holy Spirit, to manifest the fruit of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is our helper and advocate. He protects us. He encourages us. He guarantees our inheritance in Jesus Christ. Romans chapter 8, 16 and 17 says, The Spirit Himself bears witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. And if children, heirs also, heirs of God and fellow heirs with Christ. Is this sealing work something that we do? The answer is an emphatic no. The Holy Spirit's work in our heart proves that we are saved by grace alone and not by any of our works. By giving us the Holy Spirit, God seals or He stamps us as our own. And then the Holy Spirit continues to testify, authenticating the reality of this relationship by making us more like Jesus. What a joy it is, each one of us as believers, that we have been sealed and marked by the Holy Spirit. So today, you and I can let grace flow and bless everyone around us. Let's pray. Father, we want to thank you for your wonderful, sweet Holy Spirit. We thank you that He is our helper, Thank you, Lord, that He is our guide, our strength. That, Lord, You have sealed us, You have marked us with the Holy Spirit of God. And I pray, Lord, that You will enable each one of us to manifest the gifts of the Holy Spirit, to walk in the anointing and the power of Your Holy Spirit every day of our lives, that we may emanate the goodness and the grace of God wherever we are and in whatever we do, that our lives may, be, may give glory to your name alone. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.